<laughs> I can't believe you have Hollywood as high as you do. Uh, it's not that I have flowers high. I have flowers at consensus. Hello and welcome to another edition of Fantasy Football Freaks. I'm Jason, he's Vez, and today we continue on our debate of players that are in the same position but ranked differently between Vez and I. Uh, community uh, ranks these guys a little bit differently as well, so let's compare. Let us know what you think on how you rank the guys we're talking about today, which are Zay Flowers and Hollywood Marquise Brown. Uh, Vaz, you have got Flowers uh, considerably higher than Brown, and I just have Brown higher than everybody. I I am about as high as you can get on uh, on Brown. I'll get into my defense of that why, and as uh, you go on first, telling us uh, why you have Flowers ahead of uh, Brown. Uh, okay, so first of all, the onus is totally on you here, okay? Because <laughs> I can't believe you have Hollywood as high as you do. Uh, it's not that I have flowers high. I have flowers at consensus, okay? I could put 30 guys over over Hollywood here. I just can't believe how high you have Hollywood. So I think the onus is on you. So I want to hear what you have to say first about Hollywood. I think uh, the biggest thing is obviously landing spot. Um, he chose to go to uh, Kansas City and to play with... Uh, with uh, Mahomes, and when you look at him going to Baltimore, uh, first receiver drafted in his class, uh, he was the most sought after receiver. They were uh, talking about him as as you know the top of his class. It was a it was a good group by all means. I'm not I shouldn't say that he's like the 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 best consensus over anyone because it was a good wide receiver draft class that year. But uh, he was certainly one of the high, highly sought guys uh, in that year. Uh, showed that he was a solid receiver in Baltimore, but he was part of an offense that was a running offense. Uh, Lamar Jackson isn't or wasn't as much of a passing quarterback uh, that particular year. I think he's gotten better, uh, but at the same time, in that particular year, it was all about the the read option and 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 running. Uh, so Brown didn't really have a, a good role. Uh, he grinned and bared it for a couple of seasons. And then eventually when he was allowed to said, I want to get out of here. He was apologetic to Lamar Jackson say, Hey, sorry, man, but I got to go do my thing. And it goes to Arizona was expecting to, to be part of a better passing game. But then Kyler Murray gets injured or he was injured when, when Murray was healthy, they really didn't have uh, many games together. Wasn't able to prove himself the way that he would like to. And eventually decided, Hey, I, I I need to make a bigger name for myself. I, I don't think he is happy with uh, how his career has gone so far. And I think that is the biggest reason why he's gone to Kansas City. I think he's out to prove himself. He's not out for more money. I think he's out to uh, prove his reputation as, you know, being a guy that was at the top of his draft class, but now has sunk to like maybe top five in his draft class in terms of production since then. And I'm, I'm, I think it's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder because I don't think he believes it's because of him. I think it's, I think he believes it's because of situation. That's what I believe uh, as well, to a certain degree, uh, nothing against the guys in his draft class because they've all been great. But I think now with Mahomes, I think uh, he's made that a conscious decision. And now um, with, with uh, Rashid Rice missing however many games, I don't believe it's going to be one or two. I think it's going to be minimum two, but maybe more like four or six. And if that's the case, Brown is going to have an opportunity to establish himself. The other uh, top receiver in his room uh, is Worthy, who's a rookie and who's kind of known for his speed, maybe not as much for his brains in, in terms of catching up with everything and 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 his intelligence of the game, which, which I think is the hardest thing for rookie wide receivers to pick up when they get to the bigs. So, you know, for those early weeks that, that matter, is is Worthy really going to outplay Brown? I don't see that at all. I think uh, the two guys that uh, the team is going to lean on the most in the first two, four, six weeks is going to be Travis Kelsey and it's going to be Hollywood Brown. And then later on, maybe Worthy will be able to show a presence. Uh, Rice, eventually, I'm sure, will be able to. But I think the opportunity is there for Brown to prove himself. And that opportunity is why I rank him so high. Now, I can't do it for you. The inches we need are everywhere around us. What are you going to do? Why? 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 Subscribe. 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 
subscribe. Okay, so first of all, let me just share with the viewers what Jason believes. Jason believes Hollywood is the number 22 overall wide receiver in Dynasty. Okay? It's absolutely shocking. He's the biggest Hollywood fanboy I've ever met in my life. I can't I can't believe it. Um So like, I think listen, when you're talking about draft class, it's it's just it's too it's too late to talk about that now. He's going to his like 7th season. You can't say like, "Oh, he was the first guy drafted." Nikhil Harry was the first guy drafted in his draft <laughs> class. And you just can't say that anymore, okay? It's been too long, okay? You can talk all you can talk about now is his production, what he's done, okay? And yeah, in Baltimore, he had a, he had one good season and he had two bad seasons. And then, and then he moved to Arizona and he had a couple bad seasons. Last year, he played in 13 games. He only had like 500 yards. He did nothing, right? Even though he was the number one option or supposed to be the number one option, Trey McBride became the number one option. But I don't view his move to Kansas City as a positive. I don't. I think he's stepping into a situation where he's going to be earning less targets than he had in previous seasons. I think in Baltimore, he was the number two option behind Mark Andrews. And then I think in Arizona, he was the number one option there. So I think now he's mo moving to Kansas City and he's the number four option, maybe the number five option. Like I just, there's better players on the field. And I think he's a good player. I like Marquise Brown. I think he's good at what he does. He stretches the field. Uh, you know, he doesn't have great hands, but he, he gets open. He stretches the field. He, he's, he's a decent player. He's a good wide receiver too for an NFL team. I believe that. But I just think in this situation, of course, he's got Patrick Mahomes throwing the ball. But you know who else does? Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, Rasheed Rice. They just drafted a rookie in the first round because they they are not sold on Marquise Brown. And listen, he signed a one year contract. So like, if you're if you're ranking him this high because he's in because he's with Mahomes there in KC, I think I think it's a mistake. It's probably only for one year. And then what's going to happen next year? You know, he could be playing with. Who knows? Could be playing with like Eli Manning is going to make a comeback, and he's going to be playing with Eli Manning. Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, <laughs> anything can happen. Let I don't me know say what's this: going to happen next year. Yeah. Let me say this: I would rather, I would rather Brown be there on a one-year, seven million dollar contract than a two-year, twenty-five million dollar contract because that one-year, seven million dollar contract is motivation. That is him saying to himself, "I'm betting on myself." I, I'm not comfortable with the money I got paid so I can do whatever. It is all about, I am going to the situation. I chose the situation because I want to make success for myself. This is a place where I believe I can find it. And I believe this is exactly where he is going to find it. Um, do I have him as 22 on my rankings? Absolutely. Would I take him at 22? No. Obviously, I know what the consensus value is. It's probably in the high 30s or maybe even 40s. And if that's the case, you know, I'll draft him before it gets to that because I want him on my team. But yeah, 22 is exactly how high I see that he can be. And I think after this season, I think he will be in the 20s in most people rankings when we get to next season. Jason, you have Chris Godwin, Chris Godwin in your fifties. Okay, in your fifties, he's this. He's the same age. Age is irrelevant with Marquise Brown and Chris Godwin. Okay, in my opinion, Chris Godwin is a much better football player than Marquise Brown. He's proven it with production. He's proven it on tape. He's he gets open much easier. He runs all kinds of routes underneath. He plays from the slot, which is much more effective for fantasy football. Like, why take Marquise Brown? four, five, six rounds higher in a startup when you could wait and take Chris Godwin, who's proven to be a better football player much, much later. I just don't get it. I'm, I know yeah. I'm supposed to be arguing Zay Flowers, but like, <laughs> there's just no point. Zay Flowers is so much higher than Hollywood Brown. I, I, I don't even want to discuss Zay Flowers. Okay, because I mean, that's exactly my point again, is Zay Flowers in, in Baltimore. Are you saying Zay Flowers in Baltimore is going to do better than Hollywood Brown in Kansas City, right? If, if I think if, Zay Flowers, I think Zay Flowers is going to do better next year from a redraft perspective than Hollywood Brown will next year. So from a dynasty perspective, dynasty perspective, of course he's worth more. He's five years younger. Of course, he's a better player. He's proven in one season. He's more talented than Hollywood Brown. Of course, he's better. See, and there you go. So for redraft next year, for sure, I am taking Hollywood Brown over uh, Zay Flowers. For for re To me, that's not even a question. It's not even a thought. Hollywood Brown will be on every single team that I have, especially yeah, for, for redraft. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if I've convinced you at all. Let us know in the comment section below. Am I absolutely crazy? <sighs> We'll find out. Let us know what you think. Also, <laughs> uh, 
subscribe to the channel, like the video, and join our Facebook group as well. That's in the descriptions below. We'll see you next time for another edition of Fantasy Football Freaks. Plant your flag, Jason. <laughs>